Automation is crucial in today's day and age, and that is one of the reasons I'm a huge fan of Microphone. I can automate as much as I want. And in this episode, I'll show you a small example of some library automation that you can use to make your products smarter and minimize a manual process for you and your team. So let's get hacking. Alrighty then, welcome back to Wood Hacks. As always, I'm James with Microvellum. And as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna show you a quick way to add some automation that will trickle down through your library products. In this episode, I'm gonna be adding a formula, a modified version of one we worked on in the mini series on spreadsheets to the project wizard at the library level. This should be pretty short and sweet, I hope so, let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna open the library specification groups. One thing to note, in my data set, I only have one project wizard. If you happen to have more than one and would like to add this formula to your library, you'll need to add it to each project wizard that you have. Since I only have one to work with, it doesn't matter which spec group I have selected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and access the project wizard. With the project wizard open, I'm just gonna jump over to the project setup tab and make sure the additional construction option is selected. From here, I'm gonna click in the field for the number of upper shelves, right click and select show formula. This is gonna open up our helpful and trustworthy friend, the formula editor. First, we need to start our formula, equal sign. Using the function tool, again, ignore the could not evaluate formula message, and from the function list, I'm gonna add an if function. For our logical test, we're gonna use the same one we did in part three of the spreadsheet mini series, which was inside height is less than 24. In part three, we erased the L exclamation point because we were already working at the local level. Since we're working in the project wizard, we'll need to include that prefix. Because we did this already in part three, I already know the defined name to type, but if you're not sure of the variable name or you can't remember it, you can always use the name button to help you find it. For the value if true, we're gonna free type this nested if statement. If local inside height is less than 12, then zero, otherwise one. And then in the value of false, we're gonna add the number of shelves we want to use in a typical upper cabinet, which was two, but this can be whatever you want. You could even add another if statement if you wanted to look to see if the inside height was bigger to the point where you might wanna add a shelf. Automate this beast as much as you want. In this case, I'm just gonna keep it simple and leave it at two. Go ahead and click insert and apply formula and boom, automation. Now, any project created from this point on will have this. If you want to apply this to previous projects, you can either open the project level project wizards for those projects and add the formula. That was a lot of projects. That would be my approach. Or you could revert the template project wizard. Uh, however, if you've made changes to the wizard, you'd have to make those changes again. There is an option that pops up that will ask you if you want to keep the changes you made to the project wizard but clicking yes to this won't do anything to the change we just made, which is why I'd approach it with the first method. But either way, you're making your library and products smarter by adding some automation that would otherwise be a manual process that you'd have to remember to do. I'm lazy. I don't like to rely on my brain to remember things because it has a mind of its own and it forgets a lot of crap. Alrighty, well, thanks again for watching and wanting to take your experience and knowledge to the next level. Keep following us to make sure you're staying up to date on the latest and greatest. And until next time, stay sharp, stay focused, and stay awesome. I'll show you a small example of some library automation that you can use to make your product smarter and minimize manual processes for your... 
All righty then, welcome back to Wood Hacks. As always, I'm James with Microfilm. I don't have the right book in the background. That was the whole reason for me coming in. Poop. Now the next book.